We are the American Indian College Fund. Founded in 1989, the College Fund is known as the nation's largest Native-run charity supporting Native student access to higher education. Our mission, the American Indian College Fund invests in Native students and tribal college education to transform lives and communities. We believe education is the answer and provide American Indian and Alaska Native students like yourself with scholarships and program support, ensuring you have the tools to graduate and succeed in your future careers. Today's presentation, College Ready. Have you ever wondered what is college all about and how do I get there? College readiness refers to the set of skills, knowledge, and behaviors a high school student should have upon graduation and entering their freshman year of college. It's all about the ability to find success while studying at an institute of higher learning. Students are not the only ones who look at and benefit from college readiness levels. High schools use it to determine the quality of a student's education and if they need to make any changes to the curriculum or teaching staff. College admissions teams will use it to determine whether they should extend an acceptance letter to a student. Even employers look at college readiness, as many of the skills can translate to career readiness as well. Today we will discuss college readiness skills and activities to better prepare you for college. When picking a college, it is important to consider cost, major, resources, services, type of college, and so much more. Each person will be different, and we challenge you to approach the college choice in a way that considers the most important parts of your identity, along with the practical questions to uncover what means most to you. Here are a few college choice considerations. Family. How far do I want to be away from home? What responsibilities do I have to my family or community? Some students want to stay close to home and reap the in-state tuition benefits, while others may want to travel across the country. Affordability. Can my family and I afford to attend this college? How much does it cost to travel to and from college? Will I have to drive or fly? Will the financial aid package meet my needs or will I have to work also? Another consideration is sense of belonging. Is there a Native American Resource Center? Should I attend a large state university or a local tribal college? Large schools, upwards of 10,000 students or more, offer great diversity, the chance to meet many new people with different ideas, a lot of on-campus resources, and very intense school spirit. However, some students may feel lost in a crowd this size. Small colleges offer a greater intimacy between students and faculty, can foster a sense of community and a more personalized touch. Personal preferences. Be sure and ask yourself, what do you like and what is your comfort zone? What motivates you? College isn't just about money. Are you selecting a major or field of study based upon the need in that field or where you wanna work? Many Native students hope to work for their tribe when they graduate. Be sure to check out your tribal website. What types of jobs does your tribe have and need? Consider giving back versus paying it forward. Giving back often means a Native student hopes to return to their tribal community and be able to contribute to the workforce locally. Paying it forward is a way of contributing on a broader scale for Native people by working outside of your own community. Wherever you decide to attend college, you can make a difference in your tribal community and for your people. How do you develop a career plan? First steps include learning about yourself. Explore your interests. Put time into investigating and learning about your skills and interests. Learn about yourself. Be sure to understand what you enjoy and what you are good at. From there, you can identify possible careers. Once you have thought about the subjects and activities you like best, the next step is to look for careers that put those interests to use. Be sure and do your research. Inquire about career day programs, 
internships, job shadowing, mentoring, and opportunities offered through your school to learn more about the world of work. What is your plan? Completing an internship is an excellent way to get experience. Internships are temporary, supervised assignments designed to give students or recent graduates practical job training. Sometimes internships or other experiential learning positions are built into educational programs and students can receive academic credit for completing them. So the next thing that we want to talk about today is setting goals. This is very relevant to everything that Sean Day just spoke about, college readiness, choosing a career, uh, but it also applies to many other areas in life, you know, whether you are an athlete, a professional, or a student, um, or even if you want to excel in certain hobbies. So one effective way to set goals is by using the SMART goal method. A SMART goal is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. So a specific goal would be something like, in two months, I want to be able to run three miles without taking any breaks, rather than I want to be able to run a lot. You also want to make sure that your goal is measurable. So in the running example, um, I would need to think of ways that I can track my success. So perhaps one week I'm able to run one, week, run one mile, um, and then the following week I want to increase that by a certain level, and I have some sort of plan as I'm working towards the end of my goal that helps me track my success. You want to also make sure that your goal is achievable. So is it realistic for the certain time frame that you have or where you are in life um, and the skills that you have? So in this example, I can say that this is achievable because based off of my current endurance level and the amount of running that I'm already able to do without stopping to take a break and my plan, I know that I can achieve this goal in the two month timeline. You also wanna make sure that your goal is relevant. Why do you even have this goal? So specifically in this example, I would say run, being able to run three miles continuously within two months is relevant because there's a 5K at the end of the two months, um, or perhaps I'm trying to join a basketball team and I need to have a certain level of endurance for tryouts. Another thing you wanna be sure of is, is this goal timely? Is it time bound? Um, does it make sense right now? Um, and in this example, I'll say yes. So let's say I've already set time aside in my schedule where I plan on um, practicing and running a lot and building that endurance, but also I have a deadline. So I plan on meeting this goal by the end of two months. So as you can see, SMART goals are a great way to give yourself a clear vision of what it is that you wanna achieve and how you plan to achieve it. Now I wanna give you an example that I see from a lot of students. So number one, we're going to make our goal. And in this case, my goal is that I wanna make my GPA higher. So at first you can make your goal pretty broad. But step two is making that more specific. So in this case, I want to raise my unweighted GPA to a 3.5 this semester so I can increase my chances in receiving a scholarship and being admitted to college. Next, you wanna make sure that your goal is measurable. How are you going to track your success? So in this scenario, I'm going to check my grades each quarter, or if you are a college student, you might check during midterm to see what they are and how they impact your GPA. Next, you wanna use that information to evaluate your next steps to success. Step four, you wanna make sure that this goal is achievable. So this goal is achievable based off of my current GPA and the number of credits that I'm taking. I also have good time management skills and I always ask for help on assignments that I don't understand. So I have the skills and the time to achieve this goal. Step five, you wanna make sure that this goal is relevant. So why am I even doing this? Why do I care about reaching this goal? This goal is relevant because I wanna to go to college and I wanna have the most scholarships possible. So it's really important that I keep my GPA up as much as possible. And number six, is this a timely goal? Can I do it within the time frame? Um, and do I have a deadline? So in this case, I wanna get my GPA up to a 3.5 by the end of fall 2020. I have a set deadline and an understanding that I need to get started as soon as possible. Hopefully this SMART goal model is helpful as you get ready for the upcoming fall 2020 semester. My recommendation is that you sit down a couple times per year to come up with SMART goals for each semester or each quarter. This will help you achieve your overall goals. 
I want to take a couple of moments to go over some quick tips for any seniors who are watching this presentation. Before I do, I want to recommend that everyone check out the Native Pathways College Going Guidebook, which you can see on the right hand side of the screen. You can access this guidebook for free online at the American Indian College Fund website. You can read it there, download it, or request your own hard copy. This resource is amazing and free and full of all kinds of great information for college readiness and college success. Now to those tips for our seniors. With COVID-19, getting ready for fall 2021 is going to look a little bit different. So there are a couple things that you can do to prepare yourself. First, be aware of important dates and deadlines. Check out college application deadlines. You can often find these online. And please note that some college applications are open as early as summer and it's never too early to start. Another important date is October 1st. This is the day that the free application for federal student aid opens. You might be thinking, I have my entire senior year to think about this, but trust me when I say, it's better to get it done early. You can also prepare by start, starting to look at scholarships this summer and early fall. Deadlines come up quick and they vary throughout the year. So the earlier you check out the deadlines, the more prepared you'll be to apply for those scholarships. With COVID-19, many universities and colleges will not have on-campus tours and events this fall. One way that you can still see the campus is by checking out virtual tours. Some universities do not have virtual tours, and if this is the case, do not worry. There are a lot of other great ways that you can learn about these institutions. One is by picking up the phone and calling the university. You can talk to someone in the admissions office, financial aid, or student services to learn more about the university. If you're feeling nervous about making the call, don't worry. That's totally normal and we have resources for you. Going back to the college guidebook, there is an entire page of questions that you can use to jumpstart your conversation with universities and colleges. My last tip is don't wait. Senior year goes by in a flash and it's best to get started early. The next information I am really excited to share with you. This information is about our Native Pathways to College program. The Native Pathways to College program exists to increase the number of American Indian and Alaska Native students who are enrolled in college and who are successful in college. We have all kinds of resources to help you to be successful. First, we're gonna talk about the High School College Choice Program. This program is specifically for students in 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grades. You can apply at the website on the left-hand side of the screen. Please note that to be eligible for this program, you must attend a school funded by the Bureau of Indian Education, or you must attend a school that is reservation-based. If you apply and you do not see your school in the drop-down menu, please feel welcome to choose Other. We will reach out to you shortly to learn more about what high school you go to and explore your eligibility for the program. But we would love to have you join and I encourage you to do this as soon as possible. Within this program, you'll receive free coaching on college readiness. You'll receive tips and tricks via text messaging along with important deadlines, for things like FAFSA, scholarships, you'll also receive information about webinars that are coming up, along with other programming that we offer. Traditionally, we do offer on-site visits to high schools where we would do workshops. Um, this year is going to look a little bit different because of the pandemic, but don't worry, we will have scheduled webinars and workshops for you to enjoy. Another highlight to this program is that if you complete this program, you automatically increase your chances of earning a full circle scholarship, which Shonday will tell you a little bit more about in a moment. Next, Shonday is going to tell you about the Tribal College Transfer Program. The Tribal College Transfer Program creates transfer pathways for tribal college students into four-year institutions. Program support ensures that TCU students complete their associate degrees and have the academic readiness to succeed at a four-year degree-granting institution. Transfer programs services focus on helping students identify transfer opportunities to ensure a smooth transition and to access adequate tools and resources upon transfer. The program provides coaching and advising support at selected TCUs to include the college transfer admission process, financial aid education for students and their families, and partnerships with transfer institutions. 
The Native Pathways College Success Program assists American Indian students with the transition to mainstream colleges and universities in their first year to promote success. Students receive coaching for building successful academic habits, increasing academic success in the short and long term, setting academic and career goals, and developing community. From welcome week to the last day of first year finals, the college success coach helps students to succeed with the goal of graduation. To be eligible to participate in the college success program, a student must graduate from the Native Pathways High School College Choice or the Tribal College Transfer Program to continue on into the college success program. The American Indian College Fund provides scholarships to American Indian and Alaska Native College students seeking undergraduate and graduate degrees at tribal colleges, nonprofit, and accredited schools. Available to TCU and mainstream students, the Full Circle Scholarship applications are accepted each year from January 1st through May 31st. The College Fund also administers the Tribal College Scholarship, available from January 1st through August 1st. TCU scholarships are awarded by each tribal college or university. Contact your school's financial aid office to learn more. To apply for either the Full Circle or the Tribal College Scholarship, complete the online application and upload a digital photo, your tribal affiliation, proof of tribal enrollment, and transcripts. Eligibility requirements include to maintain a 2.0 grade point average, to be a full-time student, enrolled tribal member or show descendancy, reapply each year. The TCU scholarship does allow part-time applicants. Tribal college students are eligible to apply for both the Full Circle and the TCU scholarship. I'm really excited to tell you about this next opportunity, our annual Native Pathways Summer Camp 2020 edition, which means it's going to look a little bit different, like everything else, right? It's going to be virtual. This is exciting because from your own home, it means that you can access all kinds of workshops and webinars about really cool topics like career and major exploration, how to restart and recharge this summer, Financial aid, what is it? What does it look like? Along with a lot of other important topics as you get ready for the fall 2020 semester. So mark your calendars for our virtual camp, July 21st through the 23rd. And please watch out for our upcoming registration information and an itinerary. We will love to see you there. The next thing I wanna share with you are additional resources to connect with us and also gain access to tips and tricks for college readiness and college success. Our first two resources are two great newsletters, which you can subscribe to at the website located next to the words Scholarship Update. Our first newsletter I'm going to tell you about is called Scholarship Update, and you guessed it, it's all about scholarships, along with information about upcoming deadlines, applications, and advice. Our next newsletter is the Connect Update where you can learn about internship, fellowship, and networking opportunities, as well as helpful advice and tips. Another great resource I'd like to share with you today is Focus2. This is a great platform complete with tools for self-assessment, career and major exploration, decision-making, and planning. Last, I wanna invite you to follow us on social media. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Native Pathways. Hope to see you there. Thank you for joining the American Indian College Fund today. We are your Native Pathways team, and we look forward to working with you to achieve your dreams. Don't forget, education is the answer.